Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd do, I'm going to do another one of my swatch videos. I'm going to do a series of these, I'm probably going to film them all together now, but I'm not going to put them all up at the same time, because I don't want to blast you with basically my image on your screen. Sophia's mummy this, Sophia's mummy this, Sophia's mummy, I don't want to do that to you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to video them all today, and then I'm going to put them up bit by bit. So when you look at the video and you go, hang on a minute, she's wearing exactly the same as what she did in the last video, then yes, you will be right. I will be wearing the same because I have no intention of going to get changed to do this. Um, one of the swatches I'm going to do, um, the concentration on a specific palette, there is a lot of talk about this palette at the moment. It is everywhere now i've had this palette since october last year and i love it um it is the freedom pro highlight why do i sound like i'm out of breath i think that's because i ran upstairs and then ran down again then realized i'd forgotten my camera so i had to run back up and run down again <sighs> yeah this is the pro highlight palette now this is on Instagram all the time. Freedom are really promoting it, um, doing lots of pictures, etc., and doing some swatches. But I want to show you in video what this was really like. Um, now, just like the Makeup Revolution palettes, it's in the glossy black. Um, we well, can see by the fingerprints and how badly scratched this is, how much I actually use this. And then we have the highlights under here. You obviously get your mirror, like you always do, full-size mirror. Um, but these are the colours in all their glory. They are gorgeous. Totally, utterly gorgeous. I use this for highlighting. I use it on my cheeks. I sometimes use it on my lips. I use it on my eyes. And I don't just mean on my brow bone to give me a little bit of highlight under my um, eyebrow. I actually use some of these as a base as well for my eyeshadow. Um, and then I use these over the top as well. And I have to say, the look is completely and utterly immense. It is beautiful beyond words. Um, the textures... I mean, these are like triple baked, and they've got to be triple baked because they're just like, they, they are just mega, mega shiny. Um, I will swatch those in a minute for you, um, but I wanted to show you the creams because the cream highlights are just as gorgeous. So, as you can see, we have three creams down here. These are sort of like your warmer tones your like your golds and your warm pinks and then on this side you have your cooler tones and then in the middle you have your baked powders now obviously you have six creams and two baked powders and these are just absolutely gorgeous this one here I wouldn't personally wear as a highlight because on me it doesn't look right but if I was doing a look where I needed silver, then I would definitely use this because it, it really is beautiful. It's a metallic silver and it's just out of this world. So I'm going to swatch these for you so that you can see what these are like texture-wise. Um, so we'll start with this colour here. So this is how that looks on my finger and as you can see highly pigmented highly shiny absolutely beautiful and there it is swatched just absolutely beautiful that's like a champagne color um it's just it's just really really lovely the next colour I'm going to do is this rosy 
pink here. Now this is the colour, this is my favourite for doing um, an eyeshadow base. So over the top of your primer, you put that over the top and it gives you a glow from within look. But obviously for your cheeks as well. Look at that, isn't that is just stunning. I do use that word a lot, stunning. It's stunning, it's stunning. Um, let me just grab a baby wipe just to clean my fingers so that I don't contaminate the next swatch. Um, the next one is a similar sort of gold to this. In fact, it's not that much different. It's not quite as blingy as the first one. This one is quite blingy, whereas that one's a little bit more subtle. Beautiful. So you can see the difference. That's more on the flesh, that's more of a pinky colour, whereas that is more champagne. So there is sort of like a, almost like a pink undertone to that. Just absolutely beautiful. So we'll go on to the cooler colours now, which are your silver, and then you have um, like a pearl colour, which is the only white, like a pearlescent white, and then you have white, pure white. So the silver one, which again is, oh, it is so pigmented. That also doubles as a beautiful eyeshadow. It is just immense. I mean, look at the pigmentation on that. That is just incredible. Now, I didn't swatch that twice because there wasn't enough product. The reason I swatched it twice was just to smooth out the cream. That is just absolutely gorgeous. I just don't know how I coped before I had this palette. So now we're going to go for like the pearly colour here. Mm, I like the texture of it. On the finger, it's a bit patchy. But, excuse me for squinting, that's because I haven't got my glasses on. But on the flesh, I'll just do that again. It might be just that I'm picking up loads and loads and loads because I've got already got quite a lot on so yeah I mean it, it's it's not the highlight is the fact that I've got dirty fingers so there you go there's another one that's that beautiful pearly white pearly yeah it looks a bit like mother of pearl it hasn't got the greens and the pinks through it but it's that sort of that ilk of colour and then the, the last of the creams, which is this pure white. Which is really, he is just out there. Proper out there. So there you go. They are the cream highlighter swatched. Now, it's not very often that I have seen a cream highlighter that's been this pigmented or this shiny, this reflected to the light. They are just absolutely beautiful. Really gorgeous. So I'll just swatch the powders as well. Um, I'll just do these both together because these are, I just love these so much. So you've got a champagne-y colour and then you've got a pure white baked powder. Obviously I don't need to tell you which ones are which, just cover my face up. So obviously that one's your warmer tone and that one's your really cool tone. So I'm just going to swatch here and here. How beautiful is that? Absolutely gorgeous. 
absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to put some of the um, little bit of this on here. Just, just not that I haven't got enough highlighter on already today. Cha Ching. See, look. I've just put that tiny little bit over the top, and it's already gone. Ching. I'm, I tell you what, I'm going to be driving around the village this afternoon because I've got to go and get my little one. I've got to go and get Sophia from play school. And I tell you what, them people out on that road driving better be wearing sunglasses, not because of the sun, but because of the reflection from this. This immense look. This is like what I was wearing before, and that, so you can see. I am going to have to um, try and blend that in a bit because that does look a bit. I'm just going to um, put a little bit on this side as well. Just so that I already look an oddball, but. So, yeah, now. Isn't that stunning? Now, do you know something else that's absolutely fantastic about this? The price. Now, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, yeah, this is going to be about £15 because Sleek do the Solstice palette, which has got a few of the colours that. I think a similar um, and the sleek palette has got four colors in and that is 9.99 so I was thinking well this has got eight eight colors in that's got to be 15 pounds this friends six pounds yes you did hear me right six pounds incredible so if you haven't got this palette already, go and get yourself one of these from Freedom or from Superdrug. My Superdrug, for my guys, my friends that watch me that uses Superdrugs in the city, we have them now, we have Freedom in. So go check this out. Go and see if you can swatch this for yourself. You won't be disappointed. It really is gorgeous i think i've made my point clear <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video and you enjoyed the swatches please give me a thumbs up please subscribe i don't bite um only sometimes <laughs> um yeah subscribe give me a thumbs up comment if there's anything else that you'd like to know just put a comment down below if you want me to do anything in particular just give me a comment don't forget that my giveaway is still open so go along and enter that and uh, we will speak to you very soon and hopefully next time I see you you will have that palette in your mitts take care for now see you later bye bye